Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and the Washington Commanders final injury report for the week one matchup against the Jacksonville Jaguars has been released and Cam Curl will be out for this game and there's some other moves so we're going to talk about that in today's video. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the you know road to 9,000 subscribers. Please help me get there. So Cam Curl ruled out and not a huge, huge surprise for sure. Looked like it was trending that way after, you know, he didn't practice the first, you know, what is it, Wednesday and Thursday. And you kind of could tell that he was going to be out for this game. And he was a DMP today, did not practice. So not a surprise at all that he's out. And then Logan Thomas and Cole Turner, both of those guys are questionable. Though it looks like Cole Turner, he's been saying that like for the last couple weeks that he thinks he will play for you know this week. So not a certainty, but he'll probably play like has more of a chance than Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas, I would say a little bit less than a 50% chance. He plays, you know, he said though the latest he'll be back is week two. So could be back this week, but if he's not back week one, he'll be back week two. That's what he said. So and then yeah. So those three would be big losses. Again, think Cole Turner will be there, but Logan Thomas out would be really killer for them because you know, you know, sorry, Carson Wentz loves his big targets, and Cole Turner is a big target, but he's a rookie. It's gonna, you know, if he plays, he's still not gonna have a huge, huge impact, or at least I don't think so in the first few weeks. Maybe he does, but Logan Thomas would be that great security blanket that Carson Wentz could lean on, and he's gonna have to lean on John Bates this week and, you know, Cole Turner as well. Cam Curl being out really is, unfo is unfortunate. Um, this is what Ron Vera said. Rivera said he's optimistic that Curl will miss just one week, but will be the medical staff's call. So, We'll see what happens with Cameron Curl. He's going to be a big loss. And, you know, Derek Forrest is listed as the backup strong safety. And he's been the third safety for most of camp and preseason. So I assume Derek Forrest will be starting on Sunday. And do I feel comfortable with that? Not really. But it is what it is. That's the best they can do. Jeremy Reeves is more of a free safety. And he's even listed behind Percy Butler, even though I don't necessarily know if I believe that. But yeah, the safety, you know, the back end is going to have to play well. And, you know, Bob McCain is going to have to play well, hold it down while Cameron Curl's gone, help out with the communication with Derek Forrest. That's just something he's going to have to do because there's no really replacing Cameron Curl. I think, you know, Derek Forrest can do some things well. Like, I definitely think he's more ready than and more prepared than someone like Percy Butler. You know, he's had he's made some good plays, he's a good special teams player, but he really hasn't played significant snaps in the NFL yet. So we'll see what happens this weekend with Derek Forrest and how he plays. Uh, and if he plays well, it's a good opportunity for him maybe to, you know, get some snaps and eventually, you know, if he plays well, he'll be comfortable. And obviously Cam Crow will get his job back when he comes back, but maybe that'll help Derek Forrest be more comfortable in that Buffalo nickel spot. Um, or sometimes you could have Derek Forrest as a strong safety for a few plays and then you know, put Cam Crow Buffalo Nickel for a few plays. So this could be a blessing in disguise if they win. If they don't, obviously, it's unfortunate. And the Jaguars really don't have any injuries. They have one guy. This is the injury report yesterday, but I assume it hasn't changed. I mean, what I was saying before with this, this is today's injury report for the Commanders. But in terms of the Jaguars, they've had one guy on the list. So unless they had another injury, this is what it's looking like for them. They got a guy named... Uh, Feloncio, I, I sorry, I cannot pronounce that, but he has a calf injury, limited Wednesday, limited Thursday, so he'll probably be questionable for this game, really not a huge impact player, so, and then you got John Bates, Fidarian Mathis, and Trey Turner, all those guys will play, we'll see if Trey Turner starts or not, that's definitely going to be an interesting question for sure, I think, uh, I don't know, because Wes Schwartz has been running with the ones all summer, but... Trey Turner, like I feel like Wes Schwartz is so valuable as a backup because he can play all positions, center, right guard, and left guard. And, you know, if someone goes down and he's the backup, he can go in for any spot. But let's say he's playing right guard for you and Chase Roulier goes down. Hopefully it doesn't happen, knock on wood. But then you would have to, you know, move Wes Schweitzer to center 
and then put Trey Turner at right guard, and that's switching two positions versus just one if Wes Schweitzer was the backup. So we'll see um, what happens. I think that if Trey Turner is playing well, I'll just keep him there with Wes as the backup. But if you know he's starting to struggle, if he starts, then you put in Wes, of course, as a starter and Trey Turner as a backup. The only pro the first four weeks, they don't really have a true backup center, so that's why I think they'll probably start Trey Turner. So that's it for today's video. We'll pr I don't know if I'll have a stream this week. I might have a pregame stream on Sunday and Saturday. I'll probably have a preview video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.